గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వెల్కమ్ టు లీగల్ మ్యాటర్స్ బై సాయిబాబు సుకర సుప్రీంకోర్ట్ వెరీ రీసెంట్లీ దట్ ఈస్ ఆన్ నైన్ త్రీ ఎస్టర్డే నైన్ త్రీ టూ థౌసండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ హెల్ దట్ ఇఫ్ కామన్ ఇంటెన్షన్ ఈజ్ ప్రూవ్ సెక్షన్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ కామన్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఈస్ సెక్షన్ వన్ ఫార్టీ నైన్ so if common intention or common object normally we they can be used interchangeably is proved then it is immaterial whether which accused stabbed which accused used the fire used the fire on like that so if the common intention is there all the accused are commonly liable so their liability is joint and several they can be punished even though they did not straight away participate in the offense this was stated in the case of state of madhya pradesh versus ranji lal sharma ramji lal r a m j i ramji lal sharma in criminal appeal number 293 by 2022 on 9 3 2022 by two judges bench honorable justice m r shah and bb nagaratna they clearly observed that when once it is established that they had common intention it is immaterial to whether any accused has used any weapon or not or any of them caused the injury or not to the deceased right previously please refer to my video number 1551 m nageshwarddi versus state of ap wherein it was clearly stated that even though the witnesses are related to the deceased witnesses are interested witnesses if their presence is proved and if their evidence is corroborated it can be taken into consideration <coughs> that is one point here if the common intention is there definitely they have to be punished and you need not worry about their uh, participation that is overt acts overt acts a killed b with a weapon b actually attacked the deceased with uh, spa then c he has a shot with a, a 12 bore dvbl gun like that it is needed if the presence is there if the common intention is there yes definitely they can be convicted so this is what is stated by the honorable supreme court of india so number of judgments are there in this regard but once since the issue has come i am making this video right so if you go into the facts of the case on 17 1 2002 way back on 17 1 2002 at about 8 30 am when the deceased uh, was uh, coming from a shed of ram swarup after urinating then all the accused uh, went in a gory mob and they attacked him armed with uh, a 12 bore weapon and uh, <coughs> some other deadly weapons and killed him so case was uh, his brother was also injured person was also injured then uh, that uh, injured person is pw1 a case was registered in section 302 307 because his brother was also injured attempt to murder 34 ipc also of course since they are uh, belong to sc community section 3110 of scst act case also is uh, added so the case was registered in section 302 murder 307 attempt to murder of pw1 34 that is common intention and with section 3 that is abusing a nsc person right okay now the people have been arrested the charge has been filed the trial court has completed the trial and the trial court held that all the accused are liable with the common intention all the accused are liable for uh, they were uh, <coughs> convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment so will they keep quiet no the accused persons who were convicted they moved the honorable high court yes <clears throat> the honorable high court uh, incidentally in the criminal appeal they gave benefit of doubt to a1 to a3 here important point rises why why benefit of doubt because the high court felt that there is no corroboration between the medical evidence and the ocular evidence ocular evidence means direct evidence so pw uh, uh, sorry the witnesses uh, uh, who, who deposed against a1 and a3 they might have stated that uh, the accused uh, attacked him with a spear on the left side of the same but it was on the right side like that there are some contradictions in the medical evidence as uh, well as the ocular evidence dr tanuja who conducted the pm examination also stated that uh, some femoral fracture is there and that is not dangerous to cause the 
uh, death. But at the same time, the bullet has passed through the left side of the chest, which has uh, touched the heart and itself is sufficient. So therefore, the person who shot the bullet, he was convicted. But the person that is A1 and A3 against whom the allegations were made, there was a benefit of doubt. So please remember, if there is any iota of doubt, then the benefit of doubt shall go to the accused. So High Court, in the opinion of the High Court, the ocular evidence is not corroborated by medical evidence. So the presence of the accused is doubtful. Finish. So A1 and A3 were acquitted. Appeal allowed against A1 and A3, they were acquitted. So once again, now the state, because they are not satisfied with the judgment given by the Honorable High Court of Mitra, Madhya Pradesh, then they went against. So state of this case, that's why you can read the case, state of MP versus Ramji Lal Sharma. Now, Supreme Court has gone through the entire record and they stated that the contradictions are not that material. So, <coughs> little contradict, definitely little bit contradictions will be there because every case, the perception of the public will vary from person to person will vary and the mind, the, the, there is a, no capacity to retain after one year. If you want to say about today's incident, are you able to say correctly? It's not possible also. So, these are make contradictions are material to the case. They are not material contradictions because in the ocular evidence, they might have stated like this, but medical evidence is also, in other words, is corroborative. So, please remember, the important point here is the presence of all the accused has been clearly established by the evidence of the witnesses. Definitely all of them were. Whether this man used the weapon, whether this man used the firearm, <coughs> they are not material. A1 and A3 had got common intention, shared common intention, therefore they are also liable for punishment. So now Supreme Court, please I will read. Once it, Supreme Court said, once it has been established by the prosecution that the, all the accused came to the scene of offence or the place of occurrence with common intention, it is immaterial who has uh, used the weapon and who had, did not use the weapon, things like that. So, allowed the appeal, once again, A1 and A3 were convicted. So, now all the cases, all the accused have been convicted. So, reverse judgment, please, uh, appeal is uh, allowed. Right, very good judgment. Please read it. Here the main point, to conclude I want to tell you the main point is, if common intention is there, if section 34 is there, so it is immaterial whether what over tax they have done. If the presence is proved, all of them have to be convicted. That's all. Thank you.